Hello viewers, I would like to tell you about software development life cycle in this video. This is one of the important interview questions you may face or it can also be used to know how a software product can be developed. So I can define SDLC as uh, SDLC is a process of developing various information systems. So it means this is the process how a software product or any information systems can be developed. So it has a various uh, steps involved to develop a software product uh, there are I, I will define these steps to be seven steps the so first step we first step involves requirements capturing when you develop any product we have to capture the requirements what are the requirements of a software product? for example you're developing a new website for basic for the gmail in send email inbox and compose email the basic functionalities so you have to capture the requirements from the business owner or the business developer you know how would they want the software product is what they want they want inbox the, they want outbox they want compost mail or they want something else important social any other inbox any other extra features so yeah, this is the in this stage it involves capturing the requirements that are needed by the business and then in once you capture the requirements then the next stage is requirements analysis in this requirement analysis, you analyze the requirement that you have captured. Does it making sense? Does it, you, can you make any logical relationship? Are you okay to develop them or to implement them? So in this stage, you you will usually you know analyze the requirement that have been captured. The next stage is the design stage. In this design stage, the high level design, the low level design, design stage. This is basically involved by the, our. Uh, uh, program architects or design architects you can call them so they are very super experienced programmers who can architect who can design, who can design the software product in a technical perspective so it's their job to do this design design for the product and the next when the design is done it's coding the next stage is coding in this coding software programmer they code the whole, whole design and so that they, they can implement the requirements being captured and yes so when the coding is done then they'll do unit testing I mean they'll test the, the unit small modules of the code is correct or not they're making any logical sense or not then the, once the coding is done then the next stage goes to testing stage this testing stage is involved by the testing team they test you know right from the like system integration testing and then user acceptance testing depends upon the company some companies do follow say, system integration testing or pre pre-acceptance testing or business acceptance testing or user acceptance they call different terminologies but basically they do the testing making sure the product is uh, bug free and the next one the product is uh, being tested properly then they will sign off and they will implement that in a when in business location so that's called implementation stage implementation 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 stage is the product being you know given to live or product being implemented that means, for example, Gmail is available to the end user. That's been that. That means Gmail product is implemented. Then once a product is implemented, then the next stage is support and maintenance. Once the product is implemented, the next stage, for example, they may get any issues or new bug fixes. They have to, you know, they have to be available for the support and maintenance people. So support and maintenance usually this support and maintenance is begin be is being given by you know one from testing team, one from coding team. It's like you know the the team that are already involved in this uh, development process. So pretty much uh, these are main major steps that involves in software development life cycle and uh, requirements capturing is being done by the business uh, analyst and the equipment analysis is being done by the business analyst. Design is being done by the you know program architects and the coding is done by programmers or coders. Testing is being done by the testers or QA team. Implementation is done by the whole project team and then support maintenance is being done by the one from each team so this is pretty much about software development life cycle so i hope you understand what is software development life cycle is as i said earlier this is basically describes you know how a software product is being developed what are the stages involved in the process of developing a software product i hope you understand this you understand this video and if you have any queries just uh, uh, you can leave the comment and i will answer them in the, my next video Alright, take care.